Hi folks, today we are doing a dish called Yaki Udon, which is a classic Japanese vegetable dish. Uh, a lot of times it has a protein in it. Today we're doing a plant-based or vegan version. Um, you can certainly add chicken or protein, shrimp, you know, whatever you want to add. Um, but I'll give you a, kind of the typical way we normally do it. We start with the dough, which I have that preparation here on the channel. If you check that out, you can see we've cut, got the noodles cut about a quarter inch wide. Um, Sometimes kind of a little thinner than that, kind of went a little wide in that case. But um, you can see the different dough. Um, but again, check that out. And then once you, you boil the noodles in some salt water and they float to the top when they're done, usually two to four minutes. Don't overcook them here because we're going to cook them a little bit again in the stir fry. And then you just spray them a little bit with a nonstick spray when they come out of the water so they don't stick together. Put them off to the side. And we're going to make the sauce now, and I'm just going to rattle off the ingredients here. And uh, I'll have them listed below in the des description of the video as well, so check there. Um, but I'll rattle them off here. Five tablespoons of mirin, M-I-R-I-N. 2.5 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Three teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. Five tablespoons of tamari. One and three quarter tablespoons of sambal ou lake, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Mix those together, and that's your sauce. And we're just showing you now some different vegetables. You can certainly add what you want. And I've done that um, at different times. Um, but my typical vegetables I'll normally throw in there is, I'll list those for you here, three-quarter cup of um, thinly sliced either white or yellow onion, and three-quarter cup of sliced mushrooms, and one half cup of thinly sliced orange or red bell pepper, and a half cup of carrot, thinly sliced. I'll normally slice those kind of matchsticks uh, size, which is like a thin julienne, it's called. Again, like a kind of like a matchstick size. And we'll do the same with some fresh ginger. I'll normally use about two tablespoons of that. And a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's your vegetables. Um, just hold those off to the side and get about two to three tablespoons of uh, oil that takes high heat, something like canola oil, avocado oil. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of some others here, coconut oil. Um, get your oil going in a wok or a high-sided saucepan over high heat, and then add your... Um, I normally add just the normal onions uh, for about 30 seconds or so until they kind of yellow a little bit. And then I'll add the rest of the vegetables in for 30 seconds or so, stir them around. Then I'll go in with the noodles. And uh, and then I'll go in immediately with the sauce preparation. And I'll kind of drizzle that all around the edge of the pan all the way around so that it runs underneath the noodles. And then just give the noodles a stir into the sauce along with all the vegetables. Everything should come together. Let it cook on pretty high heat. Um, about high heat, maybe a little less for th uh, three minutes or so. And just want those ingredients to kind of get to know each other a bit. And you can see we're just showing different um, vegetables here in the different udon noodle preparations as you look at the video. But like I said, my typical vegetables are the ones I listed there. And I'll normally, um, I think I mentioned the green onion as well. I normally have about a half a cup of thinly sliced green onion. And that goes in right at the end. I stir those in right at the end. And I usually top the yaki udon with something like a sliced almonds, uh, toasted walnut pieces, or uh, toasted pumpkin seeds or toasted sesame seeds. Something to add a little crunch to it. Uh, but that's all there is to it, and you have your dish. Um, hopefully you like it as much as we do. I really enjoy this dish a lot. And like I said, you could certainly put a protein in it as well. Um, and this dish, you know, keeps well in the fridge. You can eat it the next day and the next day, but typically it doesn't last that long. So let us know what you think, and you're just kind of looking at different platings of this dish, like I said, with different vegetables. You can see how we slice those vegetables, uh, long, thin strips. Just adds a little uh, kind of visual uh, diversity and uh, 
different way to eat it. it it's a nice way to do it you don't have to cut them that way but that's how we do it and like I said thanks for watching and please like the video if you enjoyed it and we hope that you subscribe as well we're going to be producing more content and um, keep an eye out for for next videos down the line and we hope you enjoy the yaki udon thanks for watching